Hi everyone, my name is Kostas Kolias and this is the preview video for our paper Efficient Location Sampling Algorithms for Road Networks, which will appear at the WebConf 2024. My co-authors are Sarah Ahmadian, Srinivas Kolapudi, Vivek Kumar and Ameya Velinger from Google and Santoshini Velusami from Harvard University. So in this work, we are studying the process of collecting user trajectory data uh, from road networks. So this kind of data uh, is typically represented as timestamped location samples and is used in many applications, including creating maps, predicting mobility of users, and predicting speeds in, uh, in road net networks. So even though these tasks have been studied significantly, uh, the, the, the process of collecting the data has not received enough attention. Typically, the way this is done is through periodic location sampling, where we extract the timestamped location of a device every x seconds for some parameter x, which is a process that, as we argue, induces uh, various drawbacks, such as too much data or insufficient signal. So you can see, for instance, that this happens if we have a congested road network, like a very congested segment where many cars are stuck in the same place and they keep pinging us with the same information over and over. So the questions that we study here is, can we change the way that we sample locations from the devices? And then maybe can we determine some subset of these samples that we can drop from our data and then to, to get a reduced data size and then understand how that trades off against the quality of downstream, downstream tasks such as predicting speeds. So what we'll do in our presentation and what you'll see if you read the paper is that we study alternative algorithms to this standard uniform sampling approach, mainly ones that we, go, we call segment-based, where we try to extract the location sample every time the device moves from one seg road segment to another. So when they change an edge in the road network, seeking to extract a clean measurement for the unit that we mostly care about. We will try to subsample using various strategies, such as randomly, based on their, our understanding about the congestion around the device and the well-known reservoir sampling approach. Then we will go to real road networks and we will see how the induced data size trades off against the quality of performance in the task of predicting speeds in the road network. You can see a snapshot of our results on the right hand side. I will be happy to talk more about this at the conference and of course we invite you to read our paper. Thank you so much.